killing me, Smalls. equipment and the workforce that the CDC under Dr. Redfield will be putting forth to be able to identify, isolate, and contact trace. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. I hope that if we do have the threat of a second wave, we will be able to deal with it very effectively to prevent it from becoming an outbreak, not only worse than now, but much, much yes, less. Scientists and medical doctors are working side by side at the University of Pittsburgh to come up with a new way of vaccinating people. Rick Dayton reports it could eventually be useful in the battle against coronavirus. Researchers at the University of Pittsburgh may have a new way to get vaccines to people who need them most. What we're using to deliver this vaccine uh, is a novel device, which is known as a microneedle array. It looks like a tiny patch of Velcro that literally gets stuck Something to the, the size patient. of your fingertip. But instead, there are 400 tiny needles, each one the width of a human hair. Unlike getting a shot, these needles are so short, they penetrate just the top layer of skin. There is no blood, not even pain. Based on what's put in them, Pitt researchers say this is a candidate vaccine for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. If you want to develop a coronavirus vaccine, uh, you look at a spike protein, and a particular portion of spike protein, which is the portion that binds uh, the receptor in the cell uh, uh, that the, the virus used to enter. Dr. Phalo is a dermatologist and PhD. He says the way our skin works is a big reason they believe this can be effective. The skin is really the first line of defense for bacteria and viruses. And because of that, it has evolved a very efficient immune response. And so the skin has specialized immune cells that have developed just to make these kinds of responses. Vaccines can be mass produced in a lab, and depending on what's added to the mix, they can be customized. It's a complex sugar that hardens. When you mix that sugar, when it's in the fluid phase, uh, you can mix it with an antigen and then harden that in a mold. The next step, getting approval from the FDA for clinical trials to start. Rick Dayton, KDKA News. Uh, if, God willing, a vaccine is developed, and if we're able to produce it as quickly as uh, we all hope we can, I would imagine that that vaccine would be distributed to all people uh, free of charge. We'll make sure at least that everybody in America who needs that vaccine will get it, regardless of their income. Is that a fair assumption? Uh, Senator, um, I, I, I certainly hope so. Um, FDA is very committed to making sure that all populations in the United States, including those most vulnerable, are included in the clinical trials. And well, we that's very not, much- That's not we, what I'm asking. What I'm asking is if and when the vaccine comes, it won't do somebody any good if they don't get it. And if they have to pay a sum of money for it in order to profit the drug companies, are you guaranteeing the helping. American people today? that that vaccine will be available to all people, regardless of their income. I share your concern that this needs to be made available to every American. Mr. Charles, do you think we should make that vaccine when hopefully it, it is created available to all, regardless of income? Or do you think that poor people and working people should be last in line? My office the is one of the offices committed to serving the underserved, and we need to be absolutely certain that if a vaccine 
or an effective therapeutic or preventive is available, that it reaches all segments of society regardless of their ability to pay or any other uh, social determinants of health that they're So when you're telling the American people today that regardless of income, every American will be able to uh, gain access to that vaccine when it comes? They should gain access to it. I don't control, you know, I well, think you represent correct. You represent an administration that makes that decision. Uh, I, I will certainly advocate that everyone is able to receive the vaccine regardless of income or any other circumstance. Uh, Revelation 13. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads, as it were, wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast, and they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six.